Since beginning its journey into humanoid robotics over 50 years ago, Japan has made decades of steady progress. Let's look back to see how the country has shaped the future of robotics through iconic and cutting-edge creations. The Wobble One, developed by Waseda University in Japan and introduced in 1973, is recognized as the world's first full-scale humanoid robot. The Wobble One walked using its two legs with a bipedal gait. Though its movement was slow and it could only traverse on flat, even surfaces, its walking capability was a significant advancement at the time. Its hands were designed to mimic human fingers so it could do tasks like picking up and placing objects. It had a rudimentary conversation system for communicating in Japanese. Its capabilities were significantly enhanced in 1984 with the ability to read musical scores and play a keyboard with a high degree of precision. Honda sought to create smart bipedal robots throughout the 90s with its P-Series. The P-1, introduced in 1993, stood 1.9 meters and weighed 175 kilograms. It served as an experimental platform to test basic bipedal walking. It could walk slowly, but its movements were stiff and robotic. The P-2, developed in 1996, was a big leap forward. It stood 1.8 meters and weighed 210 kilograms. Though it was significantly heavier than the P1, it featured a streamlined design, superior balance, and smoother movements. It could also handle uneven surfaces. The P2 could walk autonomously and used its arms to perform simple tasks like gripping objects. The following year, the P-Series culminated in the P3. The third iteration stood 1.6 meters and weighed around 130 kilograms, making it life-sized for easy interaction in human environments. It could walk forward and backward, turn corners, and even climb stairs, all of which were significant achievements at the time. The P3 moved autonomously using a pre-programmed path. It featured articulated arms capable of performing simple tasks like picking up objects. A centralized computer controlled the P3's movements, processing info from its sensors and motors. The P3 was a major advancement in Honda's robotics program and was a direct precursor to its famed ASIMO. Hello, I'm Asimo, and it is a pleasure to meet you. Let's shake hands to remember your visit. Thank you very much. Please follow me. Honda's Asimo, which stands for Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility, was introduced in 2000. With the ability to walk, run, climb stairs, and recognize faces and voices, ASIMO was one of the most advanced humanoid robots of its time. It could move with human-like smoothness, climbing stairs and navigating uneven surfaces autonomously. Its hands performed tasks requiring fine motor control like holding trays, pushing carts, and using sign language. It could recognize the facial features and voices of multiple people at a time. It understood pre-programmed gestures and commands. Equipped with a range of sensors and AI, ASIMO navigated complex environments and interacted with people in a responsive manner. Honda continued refining ASIMO over the years. Its development spanned multiple versions with enhanced interaction capabilities, mobility, and intelligence. ASIMO was retired from public demonstrations around 2018 but the automaker has been incorporating technology developed for it throughout its products and services. Pino, the intelligent humanoid friend. He can walk, he can talk, and three intelligence gathering sensors make sure he keeps on learning. Pino was introduced in 2000 by Kitano Symbiotic Systems as an open source platform to fuel innovation and democratize the development of humanoid robotics. Minimalist and cartoon-like in appearance, Pino stood 70 centimeters and was made with lightweight materials, making it much more approachable than previous Japanese humanoids. The robot's mechanical designs and software were publicly available so researchers, engineers, and even hobbyists could build and modify their own versions. It had a modular structure, meaning various parts could be easily swapped out or customized. The flexibility made Pino an ideal research and development platform.
Its primary focus was on demonstrating humanoid robotic principles like bipedal locomotion and basic manipulation. Nano became widely used in educational settings and research labs as an entry-level humanoid robot. Researchers used it for experiments in robot kinematics, control systems, and artificial intelligence. It appeared in exhibitions and demonstrations across Japan, inspiring future innovators. Introduced in 2003, HRP2 was developed by the National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology in Japan. It was the result of a broader Japanese initiative aiming to advance robotics in daily life and disaster response applications. HRP2 traversed uneven terrain and maintained balance in challenging positions. It could even perform tasks while maintaining stability. Its highly dexterous hands manipulated objects with precision. Tasks it performed included using tools, opening doors, and assembly. It perceived and interacted with its surroundings with its advanced vision systems and sensors. It recognized objects and avoided obstacles while navigating spaces. It could be operated autonomously or remotely. Researchers built on the humanoid robot's capabilities with subsequent revisions. Humanoid robot actually. Oh, are you surprised that I'm a robot? Take a look at me. I look just like a human, don't I? Well, it is really hard to recreate a robot which looks just like a real human. Actroid was introduced in 2003 by robotics company Kokoro in collaboration with Osaka University. The humanoid robot was notable for its strikingly realistic appearance and human-like movements. It was intended to interact with people in social settings, used in customer service, information kiosks, and exhibitions. The robot's skin was made from silicone, carefully crafted to resemble a young woman. The goal was to reduce the uncanny valley effect that disturbs people when a robot appears almost human, but not quite. Actroid could synchronize its facial expressions and lip movements with its speech, adding to its lifelike persona. The robot could also make eye contact and turn its head toward people as they spoke. A variety of pneumatic actuators located throughout the robot's frame helped Actroid achieve its movements. With pressure sensors, it could detect when someone was in front of it or when it was being touched triggering the appropriate responses. Actroid became a symbol of Japan's cutting-edge robotics, making frequent appearances at exhibitions and trade shows. Upgraded versions were introduced in 2005 and 2011 that enhanced the lifelike characteristics of the original model. Japan's National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology and Kawada Industries collaborated on the HRP3, introduced in 2005. It was designed explicitly for industrial settings, making it one of the first humanoid robots for use beyond research and development. The HRP3 stood about 1.6 meters and weighed about 65 kilograms. It was designed to resemble the size of a human so it could function in environments meant for people. Careful sealing of the robot's joints and electronics made it resistant to water and dust. This made it suitable for outdoor and industrial applications. The robot used its arms and hands to perform manual labor like operating machinery, lifting objects, and assembling parts. It gripped tools and components with its articulated fingers. The HRP-3 was somewhat autonomous with its sensors and cameras to understand its surroundings. In more complex situations, it was controllable remotely. The HRP-3 set a new standard for humanoid industrial robots intended for real-world environments. With the HRP-4C, the humanoid robotics project went from rugged to fancy. The HRP-4C gained significant attention with its lifelike appearance in 2009. Meet HRP-4C, Japan's first humanoid female robot. She's making her debut at Japan Fashion Week. At 43 kilos, HRP-4C is trying to look like a supermodel. Her creator, Shuji Kashita, says she's one of a kind. We believe this is Japan's and perhaps the world's first humanoid robot to walk on two feet and resemble the average body type of a young Japanese woman. Nicknamed the Cybernetic Human, the humanoid robot was engineered for use in entertainment and fashion. The HRP-4C stood 1.6 meters. Its face mimicked human mannerisms with movable eyes, lips, and eyebrows. 
Eight motors in its face enabled it to smile, act surprised, and express sadness. While the HRP4C lagged behind other humanoids in bipedal locomotion, it excelled at striking a pose. The robot became a popular figure in fashion shows and exhibitions. It had voice recognition and spoke pre-programmed responses. With the HRP4C, Japan earned recognition for its robotics innovations with a much wider audience. Hello, Ruby. Hi! I'm Ruby. I'm a robot of many parts. I can talk and do all kinds of things. In 2012, renowned Japanese roboticist Tomotaka Takahashi introduced Roby, a consumer grade robot for home assembly. Standing just 34 centimeters, the lightweight humanoid featured a non threatening aesthetic that appealed to children. Roby was sold as a do-it-yourself kit with parts released in a weekly magazine series. With the interactive experience, users learned more about robotics as they built their companions. Roby understood voice commands and responded in Japanese. It walked and performed basic movements like turning its head, waving, and sitting. Roby recognized faces and responded accordingly. The cartoon-like robot used expressive gestures such as raising its hands in joy and moving its head and eyes to show curiosity. Roby was very popular throughout Asia and Europe. After the initial release, upgraded versions added enhancements like AI speech recognition and multilingual support. Yes. Introduce yourself. My name is Papa. I'm a humanoid robot and I'm 1.25 meters tall. I was born at Softbank Robotics in Paris. You can keep on asking me questions if you want. Pepper, introduced by SoftBank in 2014, is one of the most well-known social humanoid robots. It's noted for its ability to read emotions and engage in conversations. What are the laws of robotics? Yes, I do. Would you like to hear them? Yes. The first law is, a robot may not address human being or, through an action, allow a human being to come to harm. Using cameras and sensors, Pepper analyzes a person's emotional state and adjusts responses accordingly. The emotion detector is especially useful for customer service and elder care where emotional engagement is important. Standing 1.2 meters and weighing 28 kilos, Pepper is designed to look non-intimidating. A tablet on its white plastic body serves as an interactive touchscreen. The display also works as a visual aid explaining how to interact with the AI robot. Pepper uses cloud-based learning to continuously improve its artificial intelligence. The robot improves understanding of language and emotional cues over time, so it becomes more tailored and effective. With natural language processing, Pepper understands and responds to spoken commands. Pre-programmed responses can be customized based on requirements. Pepper also responds with gestures. The humanoid moves via a wheeled base for stability and control in places like stores, offices, and hospitals. Developers can create custom apps for Pepper using the SoftBank Robotics SDK. Though it's been deployed globally, production of Pepper was reportedly paused in 2021 due to weak demand. PHR3, introduced in 2017, is a third-generation humanoid robot developed by Toyota for domestic, healthcare, and disaster relief applications. Its sophisticated control system mimics human movements precisely. The master maneuvering system includes a full-body suit that captures the movements of human operators so the robot can mimic their actions in real time. The THR3 features advanced balance control, so it can perform tasks requiring coordination. Controllable remotely, the THR3 is suited for scenarios where human presence is unsafe or unrealistic. Its safety features include torque sensors in all joints that detect and respond to contact. Kengro, developed at the University of Tokyo in 2017, stands out for its hyper-realistic muscle movements and ability to sweat. Standing 1.7 meters, the 56-kilo humanoid robot's design closely resembles the musculoskeletal structure of a human. 
Kangaro has highly articulated limbs to perform tasks requiring fine motor skills like push-ups, gripping objects, and using tools. The robot's actuators and flexible joints give it a remarkable range of motion. Kangaroo's unique water cooling system regulates its temperature during physical exertion. Tiny holes in the metal structure let water seep out and evaporate, mimicking the way humans sweat. The bio-inspired cooling system prevents Kangaroo's motors and actuators from overheating so it can work extended periods. Kangaroo's AI responds to commands and adjusts movements in real time adapting to tasks like lifting or balancing. The robot's bipedal locomotion also mimics humans. The robot combines hydraulic and pneumatic systems for fluid, flexible motions, replicating human muscle and joint movements. Kangaroo's abilities are limited by its need for programming, but it adjusts to environmental changes. Researchers designed Kangaroo to simulate how a human body moves under different conditions so they can better understand biomechanics. Alter 3, introduced in 2020, exhibits behavior that's spontaneous and lifelike. At Osaka University, Hiroshi Ishiguro and Takashi Ikigami designed the humanoid robot to explore the nature of life and intelligence. Neural networks simulate brain-like processes so Alter 3 can generate movements and behaviors that aren't pre-programmed. Its lifelike qualities make Alter 3 ideal for studying social robotics where robots engage with humans to evoke emotional responses and curiosity. Alter 3 sensors and neural network let it adjust movements and expressions in real time, enhancing its lifelike presence. Alter 3 features a futuristic mechanical look with exposed components and a human-like torso and face, blending human and machine attributes. The robot has been used in artistic and experimental projects where its unpredictable nature creates a unique spectacle. It sparked discussions about the nature of consciousness, autonomy, and artificial life. With the Alter 3, researchers are probing the boundaries of artificial life. Gundam RX-78F00 was unveiled in 2020 as a life-size, fully articulated robot based on the iconic machine from the original 1979 Mobile Suit Gundam anime series. Built as part of Gundam Factory Yokohama, the humanoid robot symbolized Japan's technological prowess and cultural influence. The robot stood 18 meters tall, faithfully replicating the design of the fictional Gundam. It weighed about 25 tons, roughly as much as 10 average-sized cars. The mechanical design included realistic joints that mimic human anatomy. With 24 degrees of freedom, the robot moved its arms, legs, head, and torso. A combination of hydraulic systems, electric motors, and computer algorithms controlled its movements. It was intended to operate for about a year, but went on until March 2024. Japan remains at the forefront of humanoid robotics. Recent advancements include J.R. West's giant humanoid designed to perform high-risk maintenance tasks like painting and pruning along railway lines. Updates to Torobo by Tokyo Robotics, improving its force control abilities, real-time impedance adjustments, and system integrations. And Musashi, which researchers at the Department of Meccano Informatics at the Graduate School of Information Science and Technology taught to drive autonomously. For frequent updates on humanoid robots in Japan and beyond, make sure to subscribe.